What's up guys and welcome to our first ever episode of Cheat Meals. Me and Kim only get one cheat meal a week and we don't want to waste it on crappy calories. So we're going to be finding some of the finest and most eclectic restaurants and let you know if they're worth the cheat. On today's episode, we are headed to Webb's Custom Kitchen in Gastonia, North Carolina. So stay tuned and follow us while we explore the tastes and the sounds of a 1920s era theater now turned upscale restaurant. Webb's Custom Kitchen is located in downtown Gastonia, North Carolina, and it serves up an American contemporary fare. It was once listed in the top 100 most romantic restaurants in America. As you enter the property, what was once a concession stand is now a beautiful wine cellar. Many of the artifacts you see throughout are original and were found collecting dust in the attic of the building. The restaurant is open for lunch and their dinner hours are Tuesday through Thursday from 4 to 8.30, Friday and Saturday from 4 to 10.30, and Sundays from 4 to 9. While not required, reservations are recommended and they can be booked by visiting their website. While they do not offer live entertainment, the big screen in the dining room runs a continuous loop of classic movies. The view from the balcony was my favorite, not only for the big screen, but you can also catch the performance of the kitchen staff at work. Of course, the restaurant does serve alcohol with a full bar, serving up beer and fine wines, but I was quite intrigued with their enticing cocktail menu. I chose the High Society Martini. It was fresh, it was delicious, and it definitely warmed the senses. They offer a large selection of food choices, ranging from a burger to shrimp and grits, and even a porterhouse steak. Prices on entrees range from $16 to $45, but if you show up with a hefty appetite, they do offer a 40 ounce aged porterhouse for 99 bucks. Um, Webb Theater, we were open in 1927 as Webb Theater. Mr. Webb, he was a local pro golfer in Gaston County. He got together with our architect, Hugh White. They had three movie theaters built, one in downtown Kings uh, Mountain, so Kings Mountain Little, the uh, Rogers Theater, and downtown Shelby as well. We stayed open as a walk-in theater from 27 to 1982. So it's a nice long stretch for Gastonia to hold on to something. Um, it was designed with the archways out there in the balcony level for acoustic values. So it funneled the sound upstairs to the balcony level because it was audio black and whites played first. It was the talkies filmed in here. Um, the color conversion in the 60s, we did catch that. So the camera downstairs at the front host stand is our color camera. So feel free to get really close to it. We have some lighted boxes in the restaurant that has movie film in there. It will be our movie film from the 60s era played and screened in here. They both sat in our uh, attic for about 75 years getting dusty up there. Um, when we moved on, we missed out on speakers in the 80s. So when they built the old Gaston Mall down there on Franklin where Target is now, people were flocking down that end so they could catch Dolby Surround. Um, instead of changing over, our owners got behind on taxes and they decided to sell the building off to City Hall across the street. City Hall sent their secretaries over here. So for about 15 years, they used the balcony level for their filing cabinets, their desks, so all the local phone calls came from here. Your bills came from here. Um, they did that for a little while, and then the early 90s, they made it flat downstairs. They leased the building out. They turned it into a teen dance hall. One of them was called The Model, and Fred Durst from Lip Biscuit went to Hunter Huss here, and he did his teenage break dancing in this building. Um, we were another restaurant in the early 2000s, so it was a big sports theme steakhouse. They somehow figured out how to cram a kitchen in a theater and did the conversions for us. Um, when we started Remodel in 2016, we decided to bring it back to the movie theater roots. So here we go, Web Custom Kitchen. Please go out to the balcony level to catch that view because you can watch our chefs in action. That is the biggest view is the chefs coming together down there. Um, when you look out, the proscenium, which is our border across the movie screen, has been hand painted and restored. It took one of our owners over 40 hours to paint that. It has the original Pharaoh's uh, King Tut's head in the middle up there, up there as well. Um, and I always tell everybody, look around and see what artifacts we have tucked away. I promise you, I have a great story, <laughs> all right? Tonight's date night, we were joined by our good friends from Spartan Overland. So we shared a couple of bread selections to get us started. I ordered the tenderloin medallion served over a country potato cake. Jeremy had the filet with mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Jesse chose a ribeye with a baked potato. 
and Daisy decided on the voodoo shrimp and grits. What is this? The voodoo shrimp and grits, it is supposed to be spicy. That's delicious. Spicy, but delicious. Are they creamy? Uh, yeah. They're very creamy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, hand cut ribeye with the baked potato. <laughs> What's Dave like? like Me. Mm -hmm. That's a good piece of cow. <laughs> so I have the filet medallions on top of a potato cake. Of course. A potato cake. Mmm. Good stuff. Mm. Very tender. I think you have the most cooked perfectly. The potato cake is delicious. And the au jus, I guess. Au uh, jus. It's very salty. Nice. And a cheat night just would not be complete without dessert. All right, guys. We just finished our meal at Webb's Custom Kitchen. And I had the filet with Yukon Gold mashed potatoes because I'm simple and easy and macaroni and cheese. And what did you have, babe? Um, I had the filet medallions with a potato cake and asparagus. Potato cake and asparagus. What were your thoughts? All right, so guys, you're gonna get honesty from me. And I'll say that the food was just okay. It wasn't a great steak. It wasn't like, I'm gonna remember this steak forever. The potatoes were great. The macaroni and cheese was just so-so. If I'm being honest, I would compare them to something you would get at Applebee's. So I don't think it was worth the, the price tag. Okay. So for me, was it worth the cheap? No. All right. So the potato cake for me was delicious. It was very flavorful. It's something I've never had before. And it was very well prepared. My filet medallions were also delicious. My portion was rather small, I will say that, um, for what I got. So I was a little disappointed there. Um, overall, was the meal itself worth the cheat? Yes. For me, my meal was worth the cheat. Now, we also ordered a um, cake. Chocolate cake. A chocolate, double layer. Double layer, layer chocolate cake. Um, that was not worth the cheat. It was very basic. It was very dry. I'll be honest, I think it was a Pepperidge Farm cake <laughs> that you get out of the refrigerated section. Um, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, the cake definitely was not worth the cheat. Now, I will say the ambiance of the location, that's definitely worth going. The story for the restaurant, phenomenal. I mean, you can't really come up with a better one. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, the atmosphere was great. I do recommend that you get something other than steak because I looked around at everyone's steaks and they were just, nah. But, um, so I wish I would have chosen something a little different. Absolutely. All right, babe, anything else to recap tonight? Is that our first episode of Cheat Meals? That's it. All right, so for me, wasn't worth the cheat. For you? The meal was worth the cheat, the dessert was not. All right. All right, guys, have See a good night. Time. Worth the cheat or not, we still give it three stars. Excellent service, amazing atmosphere for a date night, and good food we would definitely visit this place again.